the whole objective of an electronic cigarette is you get the, the liquid, the, the e-juice, e-liquid, whatever it is you want to call it, to, to vaporize. It's not smoke, it's vapor. What the vapor is is the liquid boiled. Now the liquid has your nicotine in there and your flavoring, so it can taste like anything and you'll still get your nicotine. This particular one, Winning, is a, uh, a tobacco type flavor, but I've got 157, 158 flavors. A smoking alternative. That's how I'd describe it. If you don't want to smoke cigarettes anymore, but you still thoroughly enjoy smoking, these are perfect. The biggest piece is always gonna be your battery. They all have a little button to them. At least most of them have a button. That way you can activate the battery. Then you have your tank, cardamizer, clearmizer, whatever you decide to use, they all hold your juice. Inside of there, there's gonna be wicks that carry it to a heating element. When you activate your battery, the heating element gets hot and that causes the juice to vaporize and that's what carries the nicotine and flavor into you. It's all very, very easy stuff. It's not as complicated as everybody makes it out to be. See, and I'll just hold down the button. That's gonna cause it to get hot inside. And that's how you get your vapor out of it. The main components are propylene glycol, which is a food preservative, vegetable glycerin, our flavorings, and the nicotine. That's it, that's four components. Cigarettes, 650 a pack. E-cigarettes, you'll spend 10 to 15 bucks a week. It's a whole lot cheaper. There's no legal requirements as far as it goes, but uh, our company does have a policy. It's 18 and over, uh, uh, just to be safe. I mean, because uh, nicotine can be harmful to you. Some people look at you a little funny. Not everybody knows what an e-cigarette is yet, but we're, we're trying to make it a little more popular. Some people think they want it to look like a cigarette. The downfall is the battery's not as big and it's not gonna hit as hard. Plus, if you pull out one that looks like a cigarette, somebody's gonna mistake you for smoking. If I pull this thing out, you're not gonna mistake me for smoking. That looks nothing like a cigarette. So you're typically better off than not look like a cigarette.